Hi, this is John Lortz with the Senior Health Foundation, and today I wanted to put together a little video on how to attend an SHF Technology webinar. Now, if you haven't heard, um, we are going to be starting this month uh, a monthly webinar series where basically I put on a little presentation on various topics, and you attend the presentation not by coming down to the computer lab, but instead by just getting onto your computer and logging on to a special webinar website. Um, I thought to take a little bit of the mystery out of how to do it, I would put together this short video that just sort of shows you what you can expect and the kinds of things that you'll see. So let's go ahead here and get started. Now, the first thing is, is that you'll get an invitation to the webinar through email. And what will happen is you'll get an email message from me, it'll come from John Lortz, and inside the email message you'll be asked to click on a link to confirm your registration or to confirm that you would like to attend the webinar. And what will happen is clicking on that link will take you to a registration page where I think I'm going to be asking you for your name and your email address. And uh, that will get you all registered. Now, why don't we take a quick look and see what that looks like. Okay, here I am inside of my email program. I'm using Outlook. And you can see that right here I have an invitation from this guy named John Lortz. And it says, an invitation to an online meeting, the SHF August webinar. And if I go into that message, you'll see that it says, John Lortz has invited you to attend the following meeting. And then it'll come up with the date and the time. In this case here it says the SHF August webinar, Sunday, August 8th, 2010 from 8.30 to 9.30 Central Time. Okay, And then down below there will be a little bit of a message from me and, and this is just where I'm saying hi there, uh, I'd like to invite you to attend the webinar, so on and so forth. Now the most important thing in this email is right here where it says please click here to register and receive your login instructions. Basically what happens is when you click here your web browser will open and it will take you to a registration page on a website that's called Frebinar, Freebinar. <laughs> uh, Freebinar is a service that we use to put on the webinars. It's actually a free service. Uh, they make their money through advertising and you can see some advertising up here at the top of your screen. But anyway, if you look at this registration page, there's our logo up at the top uh, and it says SHF August Webinar. It tells when it is again and then it has you complete this registration down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put myself down here. I'm going to say my first name's John and Lortz and the email address that I use to send this out is already filled in for me. So you'll see that your email is probably already filled in. Okay. Then what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to click on complete registration. So all you have to do is put your name, make sure email address is okay, and then click this button here. It's basically going to take you to a page that then says you have been successfully registered. You will shortly receive an email confirmation of your registration with all of the relevant information to log in. Okay, Enter meeting. Now if you clicked right here where it says enter meeting, um, it wouldn't take you anywhere yet because this hasn't started yet. Uh, it only is going to start on the date and time that uh, I originally set. But now I'm going to go ahead and close this window. I'm going to go back to my email and you'll see here that there's a, there's a new one for John Lorch registration confirmation for the online presentation SHF August webinar right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and here is the email message you're going to want to come back to. This is the message that says here's when it is and it says please click here to join this meeting. So at the date and time I indicate up here what you're going to want to do is come back to this message You'll click right on this link here, and this will take you over and let you join the meeting. Now again, your confirmation message that you get back um, is going to be important for you to keep in your email system because that is going to have the link. It's going to have the date and time of the seminar, first of all, but then it's also going to have a link to the webinar that you actually click on to get to it. And So this is an important email that you'll want to keep. Now let's talk a little bit about what are you going to see once you get there. Well, once the date and time of the webinar has come up, uh, what I'll do on my end, I'll actually start up some software that will kind of sit and wait for people to start logging in and, and, and uh, accessing the webinar. Once you connect to the webinar, 
a couple things you're going to want to do. Number one is you're going to want to make sure that you turn on your computer speakers and turn up the volume. Uh, the webinar, of course, is going to be me on one end talking through a microphone so that you can hear me. Um, and if you, have, if, if you want to hear me, you're going to have to have your speakers on. So you want to make sure that you've got your, speaker your speakers turned on and that the volume is turned up so you can hear, hear me. Second thing is, is on your screen, once you log in, you're actually going to see my computer screen in front of you. And I'll probably have a PowerPoint presentation or I'll have my screen up that will be showing you something. But you'll see that right on your computer screen. Now, in terms of interacting with me, you can type messages at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you have questions, if you have a comment, you can just type those in at the bottom and then they appear on my end and then I can answer questions or, or uh, respond to comments. Now let's take a look at, at, at what that looks, looks like. Okay, so here I am back in my email message. This is the email message I sent you. And there's that link that says, please click here to join this meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click that. And it's going to pop me into my browser and take me to the webinar and you can see that it launches on your screen an application loads and you see this little information coming up that they're connecting and there you go you now are connected to the webinar and you can see first off up in the corner there's a picture of me up there you know my smiling face up there um, the other thing is you're gonna notice that in this case you see how the screen looks like it's cutting off part of my presentation well if you come up to the corner of the screen there's a little area that says fit screen and if you click on that that'll make my slide presentation fit right in the middle of your screen so what you're seeing right here in this middle area this is actually my computer screen and then what you're going to do is you'll start hearing me uh, through your speakers so if I'm talking and and saying some things you should hear that through your speaker now let's say that you have a question down at the bottom of the screen is where you can actually chat so I could go ahead and click down here and say, hey, this is really cool. Um, how did you think of doing this? That's kind of a stupid question, but what we'll do then is we'll come over here to the right hand side and you can see that you can choose to send it to everyone or just to the presenters. Now if you choose everyone that's going to show up in this little scrolling window here and you'll see everybody's comments coming up. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to click on send. There you go. Hey this is really cool. How did you think of doing this? Now if I was sitting at the other end and of course I'm not. I'm sitting here on my computer. But if I was sitting on the other end I could respond to you. My comments on the other end or the comments that appear on the other end appear in a little side panel and so I can kind of see what's going on. Now once the presentation is over with, okay, and uh, I will ba I basically end the presentation on my end, um, a lot of times I will have you do maybe a little survey. So let's take a real quick look at that. Now when the presentation is over with, uh, what will happen is I'll actually end it on my end and you'll be taken to this screen and it'll automatically take you here. And what I, what I do in this screen is basically I'm going to have you just do a, a quick little survey on what you thought of the seminar. So you can go ahead and put your name and your email address here. And then you can say, you know, the presenter was either poor or excellent, you know, and we want to be honest about this. And the content was, you know, how was the content? We'll just put that here. And then did you find this useful? Sort of. Um it didn't really tell tell me anything new of course I didn't really have a seminar so I didn't learn anything new in this one uh, what topic would you like for a future webinar uh, maybe I want to learn more about eBay I want to learn more about Craigslist uh, Facebook etc okay and then you can click here to complete the survey and it'll say thank you and then you're pretty much done and again you can see how they make their money on this they basically put advertising on different places here okay so again just to quickly review um, you'll get an email announcing the webinar and inside that email you'll ask to be asked to click on a link that confirms your registration and you'll be taken to a registration page when you click that link 
at the registration page you're gonna you're gonna basically sign up and then you'll get another confirmation message back that will include a link to join the webinar on the date and time that it's given if you click on the link before the webinar comes up you'll come to a screen that says it basically hasn't started yet but on the date and at the time of the webinar when you click on that link in the email message you'll be connected to the webinar and finally once you connect to the webinar you'll basically want to make sure that you've got your computer speakers turned on uh, so that you can hear me you'll want to take a look at the screen where you're going to see the screen that I put up on my end it'll either be a PowerPoint presentation or or maybe even some software that I'm showing you and then during the presentation you can type messages at the bottom of the screen uh, to ask me questions or to make comments and they'll show up on the other end and then I don't have this up on the slide here but at the very end of the of the seminar or the webinar you'll be asked to complete a little bit of a survey so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this short quick brief little impromptu video that I put together to tell you a little bit about the the webinars and I'll look forward to seeing you at the first one thanks